everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you can see from the title of today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this. Creighton's, I think that's how you pronounce it. Pronounce it. I might be Creighton's, Creighton's. Um, and this is the Pro Keratin Professional Hair Care Range. This is the Pr Repairing Deep Treatment Mask with Keratin. Um, and this is to rescue and repair dry damaged hair by intensively moisturising. So this is the product here. I have tried the Creighton's uh, brand before um, a while ago and I liked it. It's very, very inexpensive products. Um, and I have to say I was really impressed, um, especially for the price. So I had not seen this before. I love a hair mask. My channel is full of hair masks. I love hair masks. It's my favourite thing um, when it comes to hair products. I love a good mask. Um, they make all the difference with your hair, especially if it is dry and damaged, which is what mine is. So um, I was very excited to try this. The main reason as well that I was excited um, was because of the packaging. This, obviously we have a plastic lid at the top, but the rest of it is this foil bag. And I just think, why don't all companies switch to this? Like, yes, we have some plastic, but if this was in a plastic tub or a plastic bottle, there would be a lot more plastic. So we now only just have the lid, which is amazing. And why can't every company, whether it's shampoo, shower gel, conditioner, hair mask, you know, everything, why can't they just use these pouches? I think they're amazing. I absolutely love that. I was really pleased with myself um, when I got this because it's really nice when you can find an alternative to plastic packaging. Um, and I love that. I just think it's amazing. So what I also liked about this is that although it's one of these little pouches, usually the pouch um, packaging hair masks are a single use product um, but this one has 100 mils in so that's quite big now I did look at my other hair masks that I buy um, the single use ones and they are 25 mil usually so this is 100 mil so you actually get around about four hair masks in this one little pouch here um, and I think this was only about two pounds so amazing value 50p for a hair mask is amazing um, and I was really excited because it's keratin. Now they do also do another one and I can't remember um, what the ingredient is. I think it's blue, but I will try it. If I see it again next time, I will try it. Um, if I find any links for this product, I will leave it below so you can shop online. Um, but yeah, so I was very excited because obviously anything keratin is fantastic for the hair. If you have dry damaged hair, if you need some extra keratin in your hair, um, then keratin products are fantastic. They're very, very popular. So let me just give it a, a bit of a sniff because I can't remember what it smells like. Let's squeeze some out. So this is what it looks like. This is something actually I, I remembered. I was really surprised. I don't know if you're even going to understand what I'm talking about, but usually with a hair mask, hair masks are usually like a conditioner, aren't they? So they're usually a white colour, um, but it's normally more kind of sheer this is not gonna make any sense but this literally looks like white paint i don't know if you can see but it is bright look look how white this is i was just really surprised you guys are probably thinking what is she talking about but do you know what i'm talking about this is like pure this is like white paint when i poured this into my hands I, it just looks like white paint and I was just really surprised. It doesn't make a difference, but I was just really surprised. It's one of the first things that I noticed about this product is why is it like, just look at the color, look. It looks like a face cream or something like that. So I thought that was a good thing. You know, maybe it makes it more rich, intense, or just smooth it into my hair, it doesn't matter. Um, but it does have a scent um, and it just smells like a little bit perfumey, um, what oils there's some sort of oil in here it, i recognize the smell but i'm not sure what it is but it just smells a little bit um is that cinnamon it's it smells a little bit um perfumey it smells a little bit like it's got coconut oil in it's got citric acid um i'm not sure maybe it's the coconut it's not the coconut it's something else but anyway it smells a little bit perfumey you can smell the coconut in there it's it smells nice it's a pleasant smell but it is scented so some people do not like uh scented products um i love scented products especially for the hair it just leaves your hair smelling amazing so it does have a scent 
Um, I only have used this once, um, so I haven't used the whole tube. So maybe what I tend to do if I've only used a product once and I review it, um, I do think it's best to kind of use something multiple times before you review. Um, but what I do in situations like this, I will always update in the description. So if you're watching this and it's been a few weeks um, and there's no update in the description, then I stand by what I said otherwise I will update it so for example if I say now it's rubbish it doesn't do anything and then I continue using it and end up loving it I will always edit in the description and I will say update this product's amazing I used it for a lot longer and it's actually great or vice versa so keep your eyes out on the description um, if this is an older video but at the moment I've used it once and I have to be completely honest, I wasn't blown away by this product. I have used many, many masks in the past. Like I said, I'm obsessed with hair masks. I've used so many, I've used hundreds of different ones. Um, and lots of them, I will use the single sachet ones. I've been doing that recently. Um, and there's been some like the Manuka honey hair mask um, that I reviewed the other week. Um, I loved that mask, that mask was amazing. And that was a one use mask. I only used it once and I loved it. So I do feel like you can get a sense of a product after one use, um, especially with a hair product, especially if it's a conditioner or if it's a mask or something. Um, and with that one, it was amazing. This one, I have to say that I was a little bit underwhelmed. It didn't feel any more than just a normal conditioner to me. Um, I, I didn't feel an overwhelming difference in my hair. Um, it smells nice, it's, it's nice and creamy, it's thick, um, but my hair didn't feel overly um, different afterwards. It felt soft, it felt nice, you know, a bit of shine, but there was nothing like wowing me. Um, so I was a little bit disappointed about that, but if I continue to use it, like I said, I might end up absolutely loving it, and if that's the case, I will put it below. But it's just the fact that I'm quite tough when it comes to hair masks and hair treatments because I use a lot of them and they really need to wow me. I think if your hair is dry and damaged, this can definitely help your hair. Um, but I will say it's probably something that you'd have to use every week to get that result. It's not something that you use once and you get an instant, wow, my hair feels soft, shiny and all of that. I think it's something that you need to keep using. Um, and it also says on the back as well, you only need to leave it on for two minutes and then rinse it off. So, you know, it's, I would say this is basically just a conditioner for dry hair. Um, I don't know if I would call it a, a deep treatment mask, especially after two minutes. I don't feel like you can have a deep treatment in two minutes um, unless it's amazing. So I do like it. I would repurchase it again if there was nothing else in the store that I really was that interested in? Um, I couldn't find anything else. I know that sounds bad. Um, it's not terrible. I would buy it again, um, but I wouldn't rush to the store to get more of these. Um, so yeah, so hopefully that helps you. Um, like I said, if I have any links to where you can get this online, I will leave that below. Uh, and hopefully this was helpful. If it was, give this video a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. Thank you. Um, and if you'd like to subscribe, that would be fantastic as well. And leave any comments because I love reading them. Okay, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.